Lewis, welcome to Reading Football Club. You signed late last night on deadline day. Yeah. You, I'm sure you were very happy to get that over the line. Well, in time for to be uh, to be a Reading player. Yeah, of course. Um, like you said, it was late on in the day, um, but now now it's done. I'm just happy to get started and hopefully contribute to to Reading season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what were the kind of factors that are behind your decision to, to to come to Reading? Initially, obviously, I, I wanted to seek a loan to uh, be able to play football. I wasn't getting much game time at Bournemouth this season. So the main thing was to, to try and play some football and uh, with Reading being having, well, having a good season so far, I thought that it was a good match, trying to play football the right way. Um, I thought this was the best place for me to come. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the phrase playing football means sort of two things. One, actually getting the game time, but two, actually playing some good football too, which yeah. I guess is a really big thing for any footballer. Yeah, exactly. You want to you enjoy it while you're playing as well. You know, you don't want to be just banging it long and chasing the game. You want to have possession and, and play good football and that's... That's everything that uh, Reading is about this season. Absolutely, and I'm, I'm sure you would have had some other options available. And I guess, as you say there, that's one of the that, that sort of speaks volumes that you kind of chosen Reading as, as your club. I guess. Yeah, there was a few other options, um, but Reading stuck out for me um, in terms of the playing style um, and just the ambition of what they want to do this season. Um, so I thought that this would, this would be the best place for me again. When we've signed players in the past, we've always mentioned their manager because you know, he comes with a, a big reputation and a very clear philosophy about wants, what he wants to do as well, which is, it makes things a lot easier for a player to know exactly where you stand. Yeah, I think that's important, you know, having a manager that's clear on exactly what he wants to do, what he wants from the players. It makes it easier for the squad uh, and inevitably easier to be successful. So that was a major thing, yeah. And when did you actually learn of, of, of Reading's interest? Because of course it was pushed through at the kind of 11th hour, if you like. But I guess it's been the interest might have been there for a little while. Yeah, there was a bit of interest for a while. Um, I wasn't actually uh, given permission to go on loan till very late, so um, it was a bit to and fro between clubs that had contracted the club. But um, inevitably, I got the chance to come here and, and uh, made that decision. And you, you know all about the championship and what it requires to be successful in this division too, which I suppose will be a huge asset for us to bring you here. Yeah, yeah. Um, like you said, I've, I've played in the championship before and been quite successful, so hopefully I can bring some of my experience to the squad and and, and the team can benefit from that. And, and you've had plenty of promotions in your career as well at a few different levels. You've played that sort of, you've, you've worked your way up to the, to the Premier League, I suppose. So uh, you know you, you know what it takes to, to kind of get over the line in the last few months. Yeah, yeah. I've got a bit of experience. Um, you know, getting promotion, knowing what what stages you might go through. You know, the ups and downs of a promotion season, and being able to keep focus on on the end goal. So um, hopefully, I can. Uh, use that to, to help us yeah. and I guess one of the big uh, sort of factors in the next few weeks is kind of settling in learning a bit more about the style as we said and, and meeting your teammates so anyone here you kind of know already I suppose I was thinking Jan Kermigan probably from Bournemouth yeah, would yeah. Be one. yeah well, I spent some time with Jan at uh, Bournemouth a couple of years ago so I know Jan I know, I know a few of the lads um, and, and over the years I've played against the majority of them as well so um, I don't think there'll be a, a long time settling in no, certainly a welcoming bunch, and I'm sure yeah. you fit right in with them. And I guess you're going to be working hard with them on the training ground to to be you know available as, as early as uh, next Saturday for the Ipswich game. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to work hard as, and and try and get in as soon as possible. You know, when the manager feels is right, uh, then I'll be ready. Yeah, I guess you must be. Uh, I know you've, like you mentioned you haven't played a, a, a loads this season, but I'm sure you've uh, you, you're feeling like you've kept yourself in really good shape and yeah. you've had a, a little run out today. So yeah, exactly. I've got some minutes today. I felt uh, over that. Course of being uh, out of the squad at Bournemouth I've still kept myself in good nick and uh, ready for for this opportunity now and finally I mean I guess it's a nice thing as a, as a footballer when you when you uh, when the an announcement comes through and you get a load of welcoming messages on things like yeah. Twitter and stuff so yeah, it's quite flattering as well yeah it was nice it was nice the Reading fans were very um, welcoming and um, that's always nice when you join a club and you get the support of your club and and the fans well we look forward to seeing you in action good okay. to be welcoming Thank you. thanks Lewis